Alright, welcome back. Last time, well, uh, Ming invaded and took Anxi. Thankfully, that's uh, just about the most that they took. The other half was about 900 ducats and half of my trade power for some time. Of course, that's gonna break as soon as possible. Although, I don't know when. However, I am recovering from this decently quickly, so it shouldn't be an issue for now. Ah, it's gonna last until the true sons. So ten years. Great. Flintlock muskets are coming up soon. Maybe I should stick with focusing on mill points for a while because I do need. I do want to finish off standing army ideas as soon as possible. And I also need flintlock muskets. I need to keep up the mill tech to ensure I don't fall behind. Because it's the main thing protecting me from the hordes of Ming. No, I'll say hordes, I meant. When it comes to the size of their army. Yeah. Trade. Right. So. The Commonwealth has embraced... It. Have they? Yep. So if they start trading in Russia... It might start spreading to me, but that's unlikely. It's not like anyone down here is going to trade it there, but maybe in Persia. It's be a bit of an odd way to get to it, but that would be nice to have. Especially since I won't have any chance to get globalized trade or manufacturers. At least enlightenment, I have the possibility of getting it myself. Given enough time. Enough time. That's part of the problem. It's going to take ages for me to get to that point. Yeah... So now we're starting to work on a road in Europe. Right. I've got the manpower now for the rest. Okay. And I still remember the exact path because of how weird it is, at least towards to get to Soraya and Jidad. Probably should go to Fort in Samara too. This seems like a bad spot for it, actually. Ooh, a craftsman's district. Thank you. I was planning on building one of those as soon as I could, but I haven't had the time to recently. More specifically, the cash. But the burgers don't have a lot of money, so... Thank you. Besides, you'll enjoy some of the profit from that, too. Conquest guesses belly. No, let's just siege down the capital. Oh yeah, I forgot to get you from there. Restrict looting. I'm conquering and I plan on this being a relatively quick war. Mainly to just wipe them off the map again and to get some stuff for myself. Alright, this should be good. Ooh, a corporation guild in Turf. Looks 
excited. Okay. Alright, so I've gotten myself yet another subject. Just need to wait for everything to stabilize, and then... And the collector finally died. Might have had something to do with the size of the empire now. <laughs> oh no, I gotta cross all this to collect all the taxes? No, I've had enough. So, 29. Don't idea this cost less than 300. 30, but should be fine. Reduced yearly army tradition key. I probably should read it, shouldn't I? Nat national conscripts. Ah, uh, I'll get that stat back soon. Increases our military numbers by making it compulsory for men to enroll for military service. Damn it! Ah. Uh, the knowledge these older troops have learned will be passed on to newer recruits. Ming will just not let up, will they? I haven't even finished returning. Alright, so they still have yeah, a heck of a lot of troops numbering a little over 600,000. And yay me, I've got less than 50,000. <laughs> they want Barkle. They're using Yun's claims on the, these provinces. They're still likely to hit this way, though? I'd... If I had more time, what a better fortify, but... Uh, well, some of the fortifications have come up. So at least my capital's a little bit better protected. I still have the horde buffs. So it's not as bad as it could be, but this is going to take some time for me to really get going. They probably have better mill tech. No, they don't. Okay. Even then, the milk tech is not that much. That infantry fire is actually pretty important. Hmm. Land morale. Kinda useful. Let's not touch anything. And let's ask the burgers for some more support. War relief effect is a little bit weaker than I remember, although that's probably because they're weakening because... I'm lowering autonomy in their major supporters. I could kind of say the same for the tribals, except for the fact that I constantly conquer new places for the tribals to exist in and draw power from, which is less the case for other areas. Yeah, actually, I think I'll stop here. I'll see if I can figure out a means of battle next time I record. So, yeah, um, I took all the Tartar provinces away from the White Horde, so of course they're still in the process of being cored. So it'll take some time, but I managed to raise my death level to the point where I'm now significant. Instead of just major. But, uh, well, okay, ranking level hasn't changed. But I'm getting there, just some more dev, and I'm past Vijaya Najar, Nar Vijaya Najaro. Ah, uh, Ming invaded again, in case you couldn't tell. Yeah, this time I wasn't able to hold as easily, because they didn't do it as one at a time as they did previously, so... 
the Lun fell pretty quickly. And Turfun's about to fall too. Yeah. Standing up against Ming over and over again is not something I can handle. Plus 45 war enthusiasm. Yuck. Additionally, as soon as I take Barco, I'm going to lose about 8 war score. So, I'm probably going to try my best to peace out as quickly as possible. I might have to do the same thing where I give up a bunch of cash plus some territory. It really depends on what they want. Problem is, I think Ming has gone... Oh, they're in Minister. Yeah, they just want Barco. For sure. Olongar and Torfon and Kamuro are also possibilities for them, but they don't seem that interested in this stuff, actually. Uh, well, I've been slowly starting to go up starting army ideas again, and I'm considering changing government types, however, I desperately need the horde stuff right now. I really can't do anything else right now. It's really important that I keep it. The buffs are just too good. I need the combat. Bonuses. Just to be able to stand up to Ming for a while longer. Anyway, I'll see you again next time. Until then. Bye.